What's going on everybody? I'm Jory Goodman, the Time Teller. Happy Monday. So guys, ever since I made the episode last week explaining what a chronograph is, I've been getting a ton of you writing to me asking me about my thoughts on Rolex Daytonas and Omega Speedmasters, and it makes sense because when people think chronograph, they often think Rolex Daytona, Omega Speedmaster, just very prolific chronographs. But what if I told you we may never even have chronographs as we know them today if it weren't for a guy named Leon Breitling. It's 3.19 p.m. Let's get down to business. That's right, guys. If you like chronograph watches, you need to thank this guy right here because Leon Breitling's been in the chronograph game for a long time. You see, all the way back in 1915, this guy invented the first wrist-worn chronograph watch. Okay, so we now have the first chronograph wristwatch. Very cool, right? Well, Leon wasn't satisfied with that, okay? He invented the first chronograph that can be actuated with a pusher instead of the crown. And yes, I said a pusher, one single pusher. He invented the single push chronograph. And so here's where things get really interesting, okay? It wasn't until 1934 that the first dual pusher chronograph came out essentially setting the standard for every chronograph watch we wear today and uh, oh yeah it was also invented by a guy named Breitling these Breitling guys are just crazy about chronographs and speaking of chronograph watches we wear today this is my Breitling Navitimer I'm gonna mess up the reference number I apologize it's reference number a130221 circa 1990 now this is powered by an ETA 7750 25 joule automatic movement it's got a 41 millimeter case and I think it wears just perfectly on my seven and a half inch wrist. Man, I love the way this watch looks. And it's listed as having a 30 meter water resistance rating, 30 meters. We know that that's not the case because this was accidentally tested in some waters that were nowhere near 30 meters deep and uh, yeah, didn't work out too well. But if you haven't seen that video, click the link in the description below. It's one of the first videos I ever made talking about how you cannot trust 30 meter water resistance ratings. Just don't mess with it. If your watch says it has a 30 meter water resistance rating, don't wear it by a pool. But getting back to the point, okay, speaking of Breitling navigation timers or Navitimers, I think the first Navitimer was released around 1952 and it was powered by, I believe, the Venus 178 hand wind movement. Uh, mine, of course, again, has the ETA 7750 automatic movement. So although there's been some changes throughout the years, uh, the one thing that has remained true is that this is a highly functional tool watch. You see, one of the common traits of a Navitimer, a aside from the chronograph complication is this bi-directional slide rule. Now this feature is really cool because it helps pilots calculate their fuel consumption so they don't burn out mid-flight. And although I am not a pilot, I am a watch enthusiast and having a watch that is so orologically significant is very, very cool. I love the history behind the Breitling Navitimer. And again, if it weren't for Breitling, we wouldn't have chronographs. Now guys, if you're interested in picking up a Breitling Navitimer, now would be the time to do it because prices are coming down. So take advantage of this and uh, pick one up for yourself. Like I said, a very significant watch or logically speaking and uh, a very, very cool chronograph. And that's it guys. I hope the rest of your Monday is amazing. I hope the rest of your week is amazing. But what do you think? Do you have a Breitling Navitimer? Do you have a Sin Navitimer? Do you even care about chronographs? Leave me a comment. I want to hear from you. And as always, I want to thank you so much for checking out the Time Teller shop. I actually have a Breitling Navitimer there. So click the link in the description below. Shop around really does help the channel out a ton when you do that. So thank you. And if you're new here, if this is your first time joining us here at the Time Teller channel, I want to say thank you so much for stopping by. Go ahead, click that subscribe button. It takes one second, helps me out a ton. While you're at it, you can go ahead and click that little bell icon so you do not miss an episode of the Time Teller. There's just so much more awesome content on the way and you don't want to miss it. I'm telling you guys, please like, comment, and subscribe. Share this with other watch enthusiasts, other people that you think would enjoy this. I'm Jory Goodman, the Time Teller, and always remember, I didn't invent time, I just tell it.